Welcome back, everyone. So, so we're gonna continue on our quest to, you know, deal with Mondstadt and its problems. Oh wait, I should now set this navigation and let's go. Wahaha! <laughs> Wee! Oh man, it's been a long day. How are you guys doing? You know, you have a good day today. You uh, anything exciting? Anything to report? Well, you know, feel free to do that in the comment section below. Or don't and just you know keep yourself. You know, I'm I'm gonna really. Uh, I I have a bad habit of running my stamina constantly out. There's actually food for that, but it actually has a long eternal cooldown. Kind of sucks. Isn't that Jean? Jean. It seems she's talking to someone. Yep. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Okay. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. God, their name. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... Sounds like the Fatui or the Fatui. Monster? Yes, what's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. No, they're a bunch of jackass in the box. Yet yeah, here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? Yeah. I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. Well, then you should beat her ass. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions, no? Trying to use your big words? You're just a problem child. I'll be sure to make thorough notes. What kind? Oh, you're back. Yep. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. You're welcome. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Just just let me know what you want me to do on Asan. Just wink and I'll go and assassinate that problematic diplomatic Diplomatic assassination. No, no, no. Just wink. Or do something. Do a middle finger. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Uh, Patui Town. Shneznaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. <laughs> Sounds like Sneeznaya or something. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? Uh, yeah, just now. Them? They're super famous! For spitting in cans? Wait, infamous is more the word. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. Generally, killing a dragon is not. The Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo God's power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. Well, I mean, does any warring nation do with another? What is it? Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Were we not just discussing perm important matters then, out in the open? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tears for Monster tomorrow. Monster and Sejnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, 
Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tibet. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. Well, considering it's like one city, like I said, they see it's a, you know, not really a nation. I don't even know who the ruling class is here. Who's the ruling emperor? I mean, I know there's knights and they keep order, but who pays the knights? Is it the priests? In which case, religion? Or is it theocracy then? Hmm. It's a crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. <clears throat> I can see impurities in the crystal. But upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. It's kind of hard to look through the tears of a god. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. Also, if you make any regress, it would be nice too. Though, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Gosh, that hurt! Did it get shiny all of a sudden? The impurities in the crystal- It hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. You've been standing there a while. Is this constantly hurting then to sit in her here and not like progress in the story? Like if there's an HP bar above her right now, it'd be constantly decreasing. It's strange though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Uh yeah, that's because they can't affect a god. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I'm more beautiful I than you. I do not know what to make of it either. No. Not no. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Okay. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Well, why did you give me a flight license instead? Yeah, you know, something tangible I can use. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. Yes, yes it does. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. The Hand of Truth? I'm not part of that religion. Oh, well, how films might be. We'll meet back here if you find anything. Okay. Let's see. Conjuring Jin and Fatui. My request once again. Okay, fine. Books! That's that's not what I wanted to do either. Picking up all the books. You never know when stuff is useful. I'm not a hoarder. You're a hoarder. Nah, I don't care. Wind guide you. Is that their slewed off? It sounds like it, wasn't it? Not bad considering it's all about what. Okay. Le okay, just leave. Okay. I'm on my way to misery and happy in the bay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. Hi, Mon. You're just gonna talk about food, aren't you? The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. Mm. So 
So you do remember him, that green guy. <laughs> no, he just, you know, gave me a roofie, so I don't remember him. He looked just like that guy down there. <laughs> What a cool inkadink. No one else wears clothes like that. See? See? Wait. Hold on a minute. That... I'm on. You're kind of slow up on the uptake, aren't you? That's the same guy! I mean, I know she's supposed to be kind of like the adorable idiot, but, um... I think they took it a little bit too far with Paimon. I mean... Does everyone mention Elemental Sight? It doesn't seem like... Also, I don't know how often Elemental Sight is used. But I mean, it doesn't seem like something that you use that often. Or it's not used as often as you would think it would be. You know, something that can track people's footprints and stuff. His footprints lead to this wall. Did he climb up from here? Nah, he just popped his thumb up his boo boo and just launched himself from the sky. Oh man, I'm really enjoying this uh, music here, aren't you guys? Mr. Bard, Mr. Bard. Should enter into the instrumental what version of the voice. Transpired in days of yore, when the divine archon still walked the earth, a dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The windborn bard strummed his strings dulce. And the holy liar answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished and the falcon flag slept. As a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in the stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. 
the dragon's curse sprawled in silence. But the liar could no longer soothe his cries. Wait, you guys are... So it's all because of the god taking off and leaving because he's a jerk? Oh, that's right. You're the ones that scared Dvalin away. We didn't scare him away. Dvalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so close. Hey, so... Gay? thinks this guy has a screw loose. I'm Venti the Bard. Hello, Venti the Bard. Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? Not surprising, though. Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. <laughs> of course it's about Storm Terror! Then why'd you explain, Paimon? Storm? Hey! Cut it with the amnesia act! Alright, show it to him. Oh! Isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified! When? Devalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Because of you, jerk. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Go for it. I'm a champion. I'm a king. I'm a hero. Do it all. Give me what I want. Oh, a hero so bright should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. You should work on that. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway... Even if Dvalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. <laughs> Just go grab the dragon and turn yourself in. We're gonna put him in jail. It'll really hold him real good. I really must thank you for purifying the teardrop crystal. It has helped me greatly. But I've already come to devise my own plan. Yeah, but you kind of need me. Oh, and what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? He hasn't even run yet. To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye You mean huh? me. What do you make of that? As he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Yeah, but, you know, as far as we know, you're just a normal guy. No, what? <gasps> Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he... Oh, my... What do you want to say? You know, the gigantic one. You can't miss it. Surely you still remember. Nope. Don't remember a thing. Doesn't ring any bells. Are you done talking? I'm just going to teleport there. There's multiple of those, though, so... I don't understand the... Well, it has to be this one. But I think it's because of the tree.
They did a really good job of this BGM, by the way. Oh? What are you doing here? You said you're gonna be here. And you're a weirdo. Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Yeah, because he's a lazy. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Devalin? Yeah, because he left, Devalin wasn't able to talk to him. Or know the will of the people. Oh, uh, it's because gods... Um, just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. Wind, I can't open my eyes! What is a creature like that doing out here in such a place? It was running after that guy? Oh wait, we should use... Dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. Correct. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Devalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Mm, feels much better. So, how exactly did you get poisoned? Uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Devalin earlier, but was interrupted. Well, you know, had you not caused it in the first place, it wouldn't be an issue. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Devalin break his curse, but instead, was also infected myself. Yes, it was you! So to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral! Yeah, but you know, had you not left in the first place... I'm assuming everyone knows a little bit that Venti is... So, as the Animo God, and so... Because it's pretty obvious by this point, right? And he's just, he left in the first place, which caused Aunt, uh, Devalin all this trouble. The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? Because he believes in, I guess, freedom, but to such a point that he's irresponsible. To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel. And then, and thus causes a bunch of issues. <laughs> Because he's he's highly responsible. He's also the weakest because of that too. 
because he doesn't have any responsibilities, the people don't have a lot of faith in him. And faith power is kind of like what they run off of. So while it's really cool that Mondstadt's super free, it's also easy to get destroyed and taken over because of his overly selfish nature of being too free. I mean, he still has responsibility towards the people, right? Like, he founded a kingdom. <laughs> if he left it as a bunch of farmhouses and nothing around, then let someone else take care of it. I don't know. Responsibility. I mean, if, if you do something that changes the lives of people, uh, you should probably, you know, do something about it. Come here, duck. Like, you know, I'm going to take responsibility for killing this duck by eventually eating its meat. I don't know, maybe it's just, just a weird thought. And, and just, he seems like someone doesn't do that at all. And then he shoves the blame on to us for, you know, doing this. And it's just like, what the hell? Sure, we interrupted, but, you know, for all we knew, he could have been eaten by a dragon. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of things going on in, in this game. It's a good story, though. I mean, interesting. Very worthwhile playing through. And, you know, if, if you don't like the story, it's, or if you don't want to pay attention to the story, or you just want to listen to it, well, go ahead and playing something else, or, you know, those kind of things. That's what, that's what I'm here for. That's what these videos are for. You just play through these story games. Yeah, it's all about... You know, in case you just want to go through it yourself really quick and on your off time, almost listen to it like an audiobook, if nothing else. The knights can do for you. Could you possibly give me a big hug? Eh, you don't have anything interesting to say. So this Holy Liar de Hamel is one of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the lyre that Barbados used to play. With it, perhaps I can help Duval and draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course! I'm the best bard in the world. There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? No. No, I don't. So how can we get the Holy Light? Uh, there's no reaction to that. It says that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral. Somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. handle this. Hello there, sister. May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo. But you should report that to the Knights of Favonia. <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help. I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to please see yourselves out. <laughs> That's exactly what you'd expect, right? Just like, hey, you know, you don't know who I am, a random stranger, but can I have the most valuable and treasured item in the entire goddamn kingdom? What? It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the knight's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? Yeah, it's your fault. That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. <laughs> 
Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then... I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore, my disciples. Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. I'm sorry for skipping over that. I couldn't hand it. It's too much cringe. It's like, yes, I am the god. I am your god. Prepare. Kneel before me now. I've only been gone for how many goddamn years? And yet, and yet I'm, I'm, I'm here now and I want the holy liar. Yeah, you know, anyone could say that. Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid. But I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the holy liar. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius... Yeah, I'm, um, a knight, not a thief. Maybe you can give it a shot. Barbados bless you. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. Amber didn't do anything. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting grin. Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. Yeah, he's specifically suspicious. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. I agree. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Never trust Currently, a bunny. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me. Venta, your plan didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. Stop calling me hotshot. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Well, they have the freedom to not see that now, don't they? Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Today we stand for free will. Any suggestions on just how we steal it? By not asking a knight. Come now, speak up. That's what free will is for. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. You're supposedly Barbados. You can literally fly in there as a god and take it and leave. Using the power of wind and no one can stop you. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? Agreed. But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your- The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! What do you say? Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Because I want to kill you. On her background story when we get the time. Ah, they still haven't fixed that. It's originally supposed to switch depending on the character you choose, but it didn't. Huh? Alright, so to continue on, I think that's a good place to leave it off for now. 
I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.